Purdue University has announced that it will reduce COVID-19 surveillance testing. News 18's Meredith Hackler joins us now live from campus to let us how, uh, know how that could affect the county's positivity rate. Meredith? Jeff, Purdue University does two different kinds of COVID-19 testing. The first is diagnostic testing. Now that is reserved for people who have COVID-19 symptoms or have been exposed to someone who's tested positive for COVID-19. The other kind of testing that they do is surveillance testing. Now about one third of the tests that they do are for those diagnostic tests. So for people who have symptoms of COVID-19 or have been around someone who has tested positive. Now the surveillance testing is for people who are randomly tested campus wide. That's the testing that they're rolling back. Now, the university is pausing that randomized testing to make additional daily testing capacity available to all students' employees in anticipation of the need for end of the semester and holiday departure tests. However, the decrease in random tests will likely result in an increase of COVID 19 positivity rates for both Tippecanoe County and the university. Here's why. determination of the seven day positive is is you know total k total positive tests divided by uh total tests administered broker says when you take out four thousand tests weekly from the equation it's automatically going to raise the positivity rate in a community. Now, the university plans on rolling back that surveillance testing next week. However, they do plan on bumping it back up once students return to campus in January. And they have been in communication with county officials to let them know about this change so they aren't alarmed when the positivity rate increases. Live on Purdue University's campus, Meredith Hackler, News 18. All right.